Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Toyota is planning to unveil a brand new SUV at the Geneva Motor Show. In today's video, we're gonna dive as deep as we can with the details that we have on what it will be, how big it'll be, and what markets we'll see it in. Smash the like button, let's roll. Over at the Toyota Europe newsroom, Toyota at the 2020 Geneva International Motor Show, uh, they're doing a few things. They're gonna be unveiling this new B-segment SUV. But before we get into this news, we're gonna jump back into an article that Toyota came out with, uh, still at the Toyota Europe newsroom, um, about a month ago, so mid-January. And this is our when we got the first hints of this SUV created for the European lineup. We know that it's going to be based off of the brand new TNGA Beef platform uh, that's shared with the brand new Toyota Yaris that just came out for the European and Asian markets. And it will be built in France alongside the Yaris at the same plant. This is an outline of the vehicle. That's all, all we had of an image of it until just a couple days ago when they came out with the second article. But that's roughly the outline of it. I think it, my feeling that It'll be very similar in size, at least interior space, to something like the Lexus UX or the Toyota CHR. And those are built actually on the, lar the larger TNGAC platform, but those vehicles are very, very small for the C platform. There are bigger, bigger vehicles uh, based off the C platform in the Toyota and Lexus lineup. Thanks to the flexibility of the TNJB platform, it can support vehicles of different width, length, wheelbase, or height. This model will add to the success of the Yaris in Europe, and together we, we expect these vehicles will account for around 30% of Toyota's sales volume in Europe by 2025. This is not just a Yaris with body cladding and raised suspension, but an entirely new distinctive B SUV model with a compact dynamic design and personality of its own. That was by Matt Harrison, Executive Vice President of Toyota Motor Europe. Fast forward to the more recent article just a few days ago, we know that it is now going to be announced at the 2020 Geneva International Motor Show. The only other, we didn't get a whole lot of additional information on it, but we know it's going to be a hybrid or at least available with a hybrid powertrain. And of course, this all wheel drive system where they put an electric motor in the back to assist the rear wheels with traction and propulsion. And it will be revealed during the press conference, which takes place at 1115 on the Toyota stand and haul number four on March 3rd. So we still have to wait about two more weeks until we get the full unveil of this awesome new B-segment hybrid SUV for the European market. Will we see anything like this in USA? Probably not, but I'll touch more on that when we get back to the camera. Now, this is the additional teaser image that we got with this article. You can see the taillights here. I mean, there's not much, right? It's just a teaser image. Uh, of course, the, the Toyota, not the Lexus, the Toyota emblem that's going to be uh, highlighted here in blue. And then down here, that intelligent all-wheel drive they're talking about uh, with the hybrid logo there. Other than that, you can see a sloping roof line, similar. It almost looks like a, to be honest, this looks a lot like a Lexus NX from behind, but I'm really excited to see what it'll look like in the full unveil on March 3rd. Are you guys excited for this new SUV? I am, I always get excited over any new vehicle, whether it's a Toyota Lexus or Maserati. I just love the idea of new, new vehicles, new technology. And the B segment does not do well here in the States, so we're not gonna get anything quite like this here in America, but it will be exciting to see what it is for the European market and for them to expect that this vehicle and the RS is going to be about 30% of their total sales in Europe is I mean they're banking on this thing big time the all-wheel drive hybrid system in it should be able to give you guys pretty decent fuel economy I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's gonna be about 50 miles per gallon while still giving you that all-wheel drive and that nice little sporty SUV crossover look and it'll be really interesting to see actually if this is any bigger than the Yaris. Uh, we know it's gonna be taller and the TNGAB is so flexible that they could stretch it, stretch the wheelbase. I mean, there's just so many things that they can do with it. So I'm really excited uh, what kind of design Toyota comes up with with this cool little SUV. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because I will be covering this vehicle in detail when it is revealed at the Geneva International Motor Show. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until next time, deuces.